Hey guys, and welcome back to Do News. I'm your host, King of Do, and it's a beautiful day for Ethereum right now. All time highs, and uh, everything's green on the board. So, I want to just uh, go over what's happened since the rush. Uh, essentially, we're kind of testing this new resistance point of 130. Um, now, with that said, it's a very weak resistance point. I don't know what's holding it back, what stopped the momentum, but uh, we seem to be dancing. Um, it's only my opinion that it has to do with the dancing effect that's happening with Bitcoin right now. I think that this is more of a mental market situation as Bitcoin tries to deal with the fact that it's struggling to go through $2,000. Now, um, you may have seen posts out there and things of people saying that we hit 2,000. Well, um, be careful because, uh, again, some, some websites, some exchanges are using a USD tether, which is not actual US dollars. And uh, those sites are definitely hitting that 2,000 mark because it's slightly more. Now, all that being said, you can see on my screen right now that there's there's not really much to get us close to that 2000 mark but there's quite a wall we went through this exact same thing uh, when ethereum was trying to get through a hundred and you guys know what happened there we spent a very long time um, dancing around in the 80s and the 90s um, until the pressure just got too great and we blasted through it I mean look at where we are today that was that is the equivalent of blasting through a wall so um, you got, if you guys were watching my videos, you guys knew um, I was describing to you why this pressure was getting built up. I told you it's like a can of Mountain Dew getting shaken and it was ready to blow and it blew. Yeah, a lot more than I thought it would. Um, when I went to bed, um, I told myself, it was at 107, and I went to bed and I said, eh, it'll probably be, you know, it'll hit 114 in the morning when I wake up probably nailed it on the head at least where i'm at that it was about 114 um and then i don't know what happened i just i went to work and it just went crazy um and then by the time i was done working i actually got done with work earlier today uh wasn't feeling well came home and slept all evening that's why i'm, ha I'm doing this a little bit later for you tonight but um, i'm feeling better now uh, a little drowsy a little bit and, um, you know, I'll get some caffeine in me and I'll be good to go. But um, I'm, I'm feeling better. I'm excited about what's going on this weekend. So, um, But I wanted to go a little bit more into Ethereum about why Ethereum um, is still undervalued. Like, this is crazy, guys. It's still undervalued. Um, and I want to actually talk about the value of Ethereum with you guys because... This is a new concept, not just for the cryptocurrency space, uh, but for also the entire world. But, um, you know, uh, you've heard it said many times, and if you haven't before, because you're newer, um, uh, Bitcoin is kind of like gold in that it's a, it's, it's a hard physical asset, essentially, that doesn't really do much anymore. It just sits there and has value. It um, moves more slowly. It is what you move your money to when you want to be safe, essentially. Um, and that's that's kind of like how gold is in the real world, right? Like everyone tells you, you know, move your money into gold and things like that. Um, when the economy gets bad and things like that and people freaking out. Um, oil. Even in a bad economy, we still need to use oil. Um, someone extremely wise once told me, um, they said, you know, gas prices in the United States are a leading indicator, a leading indicator, not a lagging indicator, but a leading indicator of how well the world economy is really doing. Um, it's one of the first things you can look at and ask yourself, how well is the world economy doing, right? Um, Essentially, that's because everyone's bidding on the same uh, oil. And um, if one country needs it more than the other, they bid more, etc., etc. And uh, so it's a good leading indicator. 
Um, Ethereum is a leading indicator for the entire cryptocurrency market. We need to play very close attention to it because it's it's saying things, it's telling us things. We need to pay attention to Ethereum on the daily. Uh, what's it trying to tell us today? Um, today, I think it made it really clear that this market is undervalued. Um, a gentleman speaking at Ethereal Summit today, I hope you guys got to catch some of that today, but a guy speaking at the Ethereal Summit today um, which is essentially happening right before it's happening right now it's happening uh right now and then saturday and sunday is the hackathon and the next week is consensus i mean um but essentially he was talking about he was a big time investor essentially i mean this is the kind of guy i mean he's a billionaire okay <laughs> kind of thing and he uh basically was talking about bubbles the whole conversation was around bubbles and you know are we in a bubble and he said we are not in a bubble the it's starting but it we're not even close to bursting he said a bubble starts when his friends his personal friends that run the banks and and run places like Merrill Lynch and you know Ameritrade and um, people with big funds um, that run the mutual funds. He says when that money enters, that's when the bubble will really begin. But it still won't even burst. We we don't when we're, you know we're all excited about the billions of dollars coming into this market. It's nothing, guys. It's pocket change. It's like. You know, it's still mostly hobbyist spare change. It's crazy. Um, and that's also really exciting. In that, no matter what, we're going to have course corrections on the way up, guys. Um, I really hope some of you have taken some, some of your Ethereum and put it into cold storage or something. Because you just need to, like, not look at it. Uh, the majority of the people that watch this channel aren't traders. They don't have time to do that much research and trade. Um, you have other hobbies and interests. Uh, definitely don't do it unless you're going to go full bore. Like You have to love this stuff. right? Everyone loves making money, but you got to be passionate about the technology and, and changing lives and business solutions, things like that. If you're not, that's cool. You're still smart enough to know what's really going on, and you, you know you don't have to be passionate enough to be you, know, you don't have to be passionate about it to be smart about it. So you can take your Ethereum, put it in cold storage. That's my best advice for you guys. Um, and then call me in two years, and uh, we'll go we'll go hang out on my yacht or something. <laughs> oh man, uh, it's good to dream. It's always good to dream. Um, you know, we all have high hopes for Ethereum, and I want to talk more about Ethereum uh, with you guys right now into the reasons why it's undervalued. So, let's go take a look at what's been happening recently. So, on my screen, um, I'm on etherchain.org if you want to look for yourself. I highly recommend that you guys bookmark that. This is a very important site. Um, in fact, I highly recommend that you guys set up a bookmark. Uh, folder and you call it crypto data you'll see on my screen that I actually have crypto data um, and you start saving these w critical websites that are that are indicators of what's going on and what's really happening so right here we have transactions per second this is essentially by day going back about one month there's about 28 days here it's really really quirky but um you guys see what's happening here a month ago we were just bouncing above one we just broke two this week so on the 15th now this is only reporting up to the 17th this is not include today right right this does not include uh, yesterday's data. In 
basically on according to this chart in the pacing and we will find out if it's true when it updates we may have gone up 50 percent in transactions per second that is huge think about what the price did from april to may right and then what the price did just in the last 24 hours. Think about it. This is oil. It's supply demand. The more that Ethereum is used, the more it goes up in price. Transactions are a critical indicator. We must pay attention to it, guys. Um, you got to be looking for this trending upward pop. It's, it's it's what the really smart people are doing, because because that's the thing is like, maybe you've never took the moment to really understand what people meant when it's oil, and this is it. Um, look at how much more gas has is being burned. Essentially, if this trend is correct, we're doing three times more gas than one month ago. That's three times more uh, processes, right? That is so important. Do not forget it. Please do not forget that Ethereum is not about a currency. Can it handle that? Yeah. It, can it do that? Yes. Like it can do it better than Bitcoin right now, right? But that is not what it's built for. It's not what it's striving to be. It will not change the world, right? There's other platforms that can do it much faster than even Ethereum. So let's remove that out of your minds and focus in on that Ethereum is truly the oil of the new generation of technology. Okay? Um... It was really cool today on the, in the ethereal summits. Uh, one one gentleman was talking about throughout the ages, you know, the the it was the same gentleman actually um, that was talking about bubbles, and he was talking about other bubbles in the past, going all the way back to like railroads. That was such a bubble, and you know they were going to change the world, and you know steam power and all that. And guess what? It did change the world, but eventually it popped, right? Um, the internet was the same way. Eventually it popped, but it still changed the world, right? This will pop someday. This will be a bubble. It will change the world. But by that time, you know, many of you watching my channel, um, we're going to be blessed. That's all there is to it. There's nothing else you can say about it. Um, this stuff is so real. Yeah, I hope you guys are watching the Ethereal Summit. My main man, Crypto, is there doing live streams. Super excited about that. Um, you can, uh, you know, I, I got to listen to it. I didn't really, like, get to watch it. Um, and I'm going to go back through and watch it again. It is so real. And the diversity of people the the minds working in this space we're just getting started i would not be surprised if in one month we see six transactions per second in two months nine you know my forecast is exponential part of that is because um there's been a lot of um daps and development that are just now coming live right and you and some of you may have actually interacted with some of these dApps. Maybe you've bid on a uh, naming service and things like that. So, transactions per second. It's an indicator. Something to think about. Something to go learn more about. Um, but just keep your eye on that. Here's here's what uh, another one I want to look at for you guys because this is separate. So again, don't forget, it's oil. All right. But I'm gonna bring it back to to a uh, financial a little bit we're looking here and i'm going to blow this up for you 
We're looking here at the Ethereum unique address growth chart. Ethereum unique address. If you want to talk about new people coming into the market, here you go. You want to talk about applications being built and people need more than one wallet for different applications. You people wanting to store their money in different ways. And guys, this is nuts. This is nuts. Same type of pattern here. You can see that April's right here. That we've more. How much are we up? 75%? Like wallet creation. 75%? It's nuts, guys. Very important indicator here as well. You can get a, a lot of cool um, data at Etherscan.io. I recommend you book that one as well. Bookmark it. Um, you can see the curve there. You see that acceleration? I think when we look back someday, that acceleration is just going to look straight up when the charts get longer, right? Um, it's this. It's nuts. So we're just getting started. Um, how many of those people ha have just bought this, right? Look at this. Okay, we just went to 130, right? Today to 130. In the last 24 hours, look at this whole chart. Anyone who's bought and made the decision to hold is sitting so pretty right now. The question is, is would they actually hold on to it? Statistically, statistically, most of them are going to end up cashing out. We will have pullbacks. Absolutely. We are going to have pullbacks, guys. But there's a huge amount of ether that's locked up there. You know, there are people with tens of thousands of ether just holding on to it, enjoying the ride. And um, it's pretty cool. So make sure you guys are setting some ether aside to never, ever touch. If you have, uh, you know, kids or family members, um, you know, make them a wallet. Go ahead. And... Put it in a cold storage for them. Do them the favor. You know? Do it for them. Gift it to them so you feel like it's not yours anymore. Right? Um, take care of the people around you that way. I think, I think that that um, is going to pay off for you. And I am not a financial advisor, guys. This, this could all go to crap tomorrow. Let's be real. But... Uh, the data analytics are there, the stats are there, the information is out there. Go do your research and look at it regularly. Or don't at all. Depends who you are. If, if you're more of an active trader and you're mining and things like that, um, if, if you're always looking for opportunities to sell a little high and maybe grab some for less and increase your ether count, that's cool. That's really cool. Um, and this is where you'd be looking for opportunities. But um, if, if you're ever in a situation where you're, you're asking yourself, you're questioning your belief in Ethereum, you need to go here. Okay? You need to go look at this data and remind yourself of where we came from, where we're, where we're at, and the fact that I still don't know anyone that knows what this is. Unless I've told them, right? Like, I'm waiting to run into the person that's like, oh, yeah, I've heard of that. That'd blow my mind. I would probably pass out if I ran into someone and they said, oh, yeah, I own some ether. You know? Yeah. <laughs> that, I would get so happy just to be able to meet someone in person, you know, um, in the wild, as I like to call it. That would be a dream for me. Um, to meet someone in the wild like that, you know, I'm, I'm sure at some point I'm going to have to go to one of these conferences to do that uh, and to really meet some of these people. I'm having awesome relationships with you guys and I really get, appreciate you guys watching this channel um, and talking with me, the, the comments and the conversations and 
Um, it's inspiring me, and um, I really appreciate you guys giving me the time of day. Um, so I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Um, I had more I wanted to talk about, but I feel like if I, if I keep talking too much, you're going to forget the point of the video. The point of the video is to remind you guys that this is the oil, okay? Um, and think to yourself, right? I want to go back to the transactions for, for a second because, you know, it says transactions, but it's not really talking about real transactions. I want to make sure that sh that's clear, okay? We're not talking about... Um, how do I put it? This is just money moving to, uh, to addresses, and that can be for different reasons. That's what I mean to say, right? In your everyday life, a transaction is you whip out your, your credit card to buy something online, to buy your lunch today, okay? I want to talk about that kind, of that kind of transaction, so don't get these two mixed up, okay? So I'm going to switch screens so that you know what I'm talking about, and... Um, We'll try to get you back onto the GDAC screen here. Here we go. Let's see where we're at. So, transactions. When you pull out your credit card to pay for something, that is a, I want to talk about traditional transactions, okay? How many times do you do that in a month? Ask yourself, right? Well, if you, you know, you could actually go pull your bank statement and look. Now, everyone's going to be different how many times they buy something, right? But let's just say the average Joe Schmo does, what, three to five a day? Let's just go with three for simple math. 30 days in a month, that's 90 transactions. 90. Let's stick with 90, guys. So imagine in your mind, the average human being around the world does 90 transactions. Um, I'm sure it's much lower than that, but but let's let's just put it in terms that you understand. 90. Now, ask yourself: When you went to work today, how many processes were executed by the technology that you use to do your job, or the technology that affects your job? Maybe it's the technology that informs you what to do, how to do it. There has been more processes happening on my screen in the last second than one person will do in a month. Different kinds of transactions. We're talking about processing transactions, right? It is those transactions that require gas, which is a form of ether, right? which is what people are, you know, essentially these, these processes uh, begin to crave more of. More of. Re it's required to use it, right? As, the, as these dApps come online, as these ICOs and their new technologies start coming online, um, it's, it, you're going to see exponential transactional growth on the blockchain. We haven't even begun. This is a this is like a joke right now, guys. Um, there are you know there are people, um, like I said, you know there's there's things that are informing you the processes you're doing. There are people that are using Ethereum right now. They don't even know it. They don't even know they're using Ethereum. They have no clue what ethereum is but it impacts their job that's going to start happening and that's what's going to happen first right just you know the that's the banks are going to use it right all of a sudden may, maybe maybe your banking fees or the cost to wire money goes down right uh, but maybe it doesn't because they're greedy banks and they just keep the price the same and their margins go up and yeah I'll let you I'll let you pick what you think what, which one you think they're gonna do um, that's funny they're definitely going to just keep the fees going up um, they're also going to fire all the middlemen that they don't need anymore 
lots of people in banking, uh, the jobs are threatened um, by blockchain technology and artificial intelligence. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to say it because I may not remember to do it in a video sometime, but um, there is a coin, and I can't remember which one. But essentially, it's a coin where programmers can do market forecasting, and they can they can put their models into it, and the AI evaluates over time all these different models and starts figuring out which one's the most successful over time, um, and essentially is artificial intelligence building the most advanced um, investment automation tool ever something crazy like that and what's cool about it is like okay well why would someone give their secrets away well when you when you give them your model um, you if yours is one of the best performing over time if it is you know at the accuracy level uh, you actually get rewarded so with, with that coin essentially um, and of course that coin goes up in value as people want to buy that coin to be a part of it and anyhow I can't remember where I read about that, but that one's really, really exciting to me. I was like, "Sign me up! Sign me up! Where can I, where can I put my ether in on that one?" Right? That makes perfect sense. Um, and uh, anyhow, so all that being said, uh, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, make sure you subscribe. Um, again, I'm going to be going over Consensus 2017 schedule um, this weekend. I looked up all the partners for Azure, guys. I, I went uh, digging, digging around, trying to find all the companies. I'm going to cover that soon. Um, uh, I, I need to do it soon to try to help you guys because I know some of you are waiting for me to uh, tell you so that you can go research it and potentially invest. Um, and uh, some of them are popping already just because of today the ethereal like the ethereal summit was a lot more exciting than i thought it was going to be um it's a lot more quaint it's a little smaller um but uh the lineup of people speaking was impressive so if you didn't catch that make sure you go to crypto's channel that's crypto with a zero if you don't know who he is yet he inspired me to do this channel and he's my hero and um you know he, he deserves all the credit for, uh, you know, this channel too. So, uh, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I get, I get leftover crumbs compared to him because he is, he's the man. So make sure you guys, uh, connect with crypto as well. Good information. Um, and, uh, I hope you guys, uh, have a good night. Um, I will be back this evening with more. It's starting to get late, so there'll be some more content for you maybe in the morning. Again, I'm going to be covering um, uh, Microsoft Partners uh, since Microsoft's a keynote and there's a big un unveils going down um, over the next few days. So uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that. And what else are we going to be talking about? Oh, man, I've got a huge list. You guys, got, you guys keep giving me a lot of homework. I've got a huge list. Uh, I've got a content schedule that I've been building out. Um, that way I'm trying to do my homework a day before um, and I'm prepared for you guys. So I'm trying to get better at my videos. Um, I appreciate your guys' support when you guys like my videos too. Um, I, I see my likes going up. Um, I see you guys following me on Steemit. Now, if you are on Steemit, I don't know what in the world you're doing. Um, it's like free money. I don't get it. Like, And I know that sounds too good to be true. It's so weird, but um, like essentially, it's a it's like a social network. It's kind of like Reddit right now, and you basically sign up, and you get rewarded for liking and commenting and publishing good content. It's an ecosystem of like um, if you add, you know, quality social value, you deserve to be rewarded. What a novel concept. <laughs> All right, contribute in a positive way and be rewarded. Oh, huh, wow. So that's essentially what the concept is, and it's exciting because there's it's you know, when I look at 
I'm not going to even remotely say it's ever going to be worth Bitcoin. Let me sh make sure you don't misunderstand this. But when I when I when you look at Bitcoin and the value that it has, Bitcoin is a belief system. It has absolutely nothing to do with anything except people's beliefs that it has value. They believe it has value. Right? Compared to Ethereum, Ethereum actually has real tangible value. It actually is like a resource and a supply, like it executes something for you. It gets things done. It's faster. It's efficient. The, the cost is lower. It's more cost effective, right? So, man, I just get way too excited when I talk about Ethereum. You know that Ethereum transactions right now are at 40% of Bitcoin? Think about that. Um... That's how many transactions are happening every day with Bitcoin. People do use Bitcoin for real transactions and exchanging hands and money and actually making purchases online. Um, Ethereum is at 41% of that amount of transactions, except except this platform actually like does stuff. Like Bitcoin, I can only hand, it's like handing you a dollar bill, you hand it back. So like that's all it does. That's it. Whereas like. Ethereum, I can hand you a dollar, you can hand me back, but I could also take that dollar and go put gas in my car and get to work and then go make more money. Anyhow. Are you excited, guys? I hope you're excited. <laughs> you should be. I mean, I think I think if you're watching this, you, you probably made a bunch of money. Um, or maybe you're still on the sidelines. You're so early. This is ridiculous. Um, this is, like, crazy crazy early guys so um i hope you guys enjoy this content again make sure you go to steam it um and uh you know the the belief system on steam it is pretty cool um and it reminds me of the people who believe in bitcoin okay so um i'm still kind of becoming a believer um, I've been I've, I've been really deep diving um, everything about the algorithm and how it works because it's because I'm concerned I'm concerned I'm making too much money like it's like am I that am I that valuable I don't know <laughs> like like it seems too good to be true but essentially I'm getting paid in steam cryptocurrency every single day it's crazy guys like you have to go like use it and you at for like i remember the first time i looked at steam it i was just like this is stupid i don't even get it why would anyone do this why would anyone invest in this this adds no additional value when i look at you know, reddit and facebook and twitter and youtube and right it has a ton of value like real value, money value. Um, I am literally getting currency uh, back from using it, and it's a significant amount. You can literally go down, go down below on, on my description. You can click, and you can actually look through my history of videos, and you can see how much I've made on some videos. Uh, how much I've made on like just asking questions, like by asking a good question, I've made money. Um weird anyhow um it's it's amazing it's also a great site just because it's basically all the leaders in cryptocurrency are there um using it so if you if you're if you're like me and you want to connect with people um in cryptocurrency there are billionaires millionaires and people like you and me on there and um you're gonna learn a lot because there's because these are the smartest people in the world that like truly understand this stuff so well you can ask questions there and actually get answers where if you go ask it on reddit you're gonna get buried it wouldn't even be considered a good question it's like who would ask that like you know yeah go bitcoin go ethereum like you know that's pretty much what it reddit's turned out to be i mean you want to ask really hard questions um, really challenging questions. You are gonna get answers by people who are like geniuses. So, lots of value on Steemit. Make sure you guys join. If you haven't joined already, just join it. 
yeah, I promise you it's worth worth the time. Um, it's worth uh, taking a look at. Um, if you can't get enough of me, um, go there because there's plenty of me's on there. Okay. If you're enjoying this channel and you want to find other channels, go on there. Uh, you'll find some good information. So, Anyhow, guys, a uh, quick update before I wrap it up. Bitcoin is still dancing. You can see on my screen that we've been dancing this whole time. Um, but we're dancing. It's getting harder and harder. The the um, volatility of the, the bounces, we're bouncing harder and harder off of it. Um, that means we're trying to punch through it. We're trying to punch through it. Um, and then we're getting beat back down, and it's a real battle royale. And, and um, sorry, I get excited watching this stuff. Um, so that's what's going on with um, Bitcoin. We're gonna go check out Ethereum and make sure all is right in the world with Ethereum. Ethereum. Ethereum is ha has a different story. You can see here that we had a shakeout at around 4, 4 p.m. I'm going to back this up to more like 15-minute candles. Okay, so this is really important, guys. Um, you can kind of see here that we're ramping up, and this happened all day since last night. This real steady grind. I mean, we, we grinded it. That was awesome. That's how you That's how you really take a wall down. You don't, you don't walk up to a wall and try to put your fist through it. You grind through that wall. And we, we just keep going and going. But you could see right here at um, you now this is um, Pacific time, so around a four to five Pacific time, about the time the West Coast was getting off work, um, a huge sell-off, um, and that's good. We need that. I will honestly tell you, we needed that. We need to relieve some of the baggage, some of these people who aren't in it for the long haul, right? Um, there's some people there that were just like, I am out now. I'm ready to go. Um, you know, maybe it was just one guy that's been waiting to um, retire, and he retired today. Good for you. <laughs> Thank you for leaving, because we got a long ways to go. This is important, the shakeout. It's called shaking it out. Like, we're kind of, like, getting rid of it. That was really important. We needed that, especially right before we get ready to go through the wall. We don't, we don't want to go to battle uh, together against a wall and have people who are weak. You know what I mean? So those are good. This is a good indicator. That's all I'm saying is it's a good indicator. I'm not telling you it's going up or anything, okay? Now the other good indicator is that since then we now have a consolidation that's happening still on the t basically a similar trend line, right? So you can see that we started accelerating too fast and then he shook out. Um, and now we're back on that same grinding pattern. Look at this grinding right here. We're about to grind. We're grinding. We're, we're, we're manning the stations. We're, we're really saying, hey, hey, 130, we're here. And we're letting 130 know we're here. And why is that important? Okay, man, I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting excited and this video is going long. I hope you bear with me. I hope you're enjoying it. One... What happens when you have this consolidation effect right before you hit a wall is that same concept I was talking about um, yesterday or the day before about the Mountain Dew getting shooken up as far as like this pressure gets building. And essentially um, part of that pressure building is also intimidating to the people that are selling. So as you know, the whales, they'll, they'll sit there and they'll have these giant sail walls and, um, and some of them aren't even... Um, I would say it's not always whales too, right? Like 130 like makes sense. Like, oh, you know, if I'm if I'm a normal person and I have a bunch of ether, I'm going to get out at 130. I set my sell order for 130 and it sits there. So that's a lot lot of it too. So essentially what happens is all these sell orders start stacking up and you can see it right here. This is it. Here uh, on on the screen you can see um, essentially that there's uh, between us and the wall, and this is just on one exchange, but there's just, you know, 76, 7,700 ether piled up there, so basically a million dollars, right? Just on one exchange. So, you know, we just need some, we just need a millionaire, just one, you know, just some guy that went to Ethereal Summit, some millionaire that was checking it out, you know, and was, you know, what's a million bucks to a billionaire, right? It's nothing. So anyhow, the consolidation leading up to that, 
the people that understand the markets, they see it. And um, those who are bullish will remove their orders the longer we do this. The more as we build up. Because they're scared. They're leaving money on the table, right? Because I don't want to sell at 130. Look at all these people that are about to buy. Right? So that's that's what's happening right now. And I don't know how long we need to consolidate for. You know, the last time we had the big push um, to get through 100. Man, 100 for Ethereum was like well, the biggest mental challenge ever. Whew. It was a market mental challenge. I don't know where our next mental challenge is, guys. There's nothing. And I can I could be honest right now and tell you that I don't think it has anything to do with Ethereum, unfortunately. I actually feel like, um, you know, I come over to Bitcoin. Uh, I think that the problem is, is we're, again, the, the, the uh, immature thinking is the idea that ethereum and bitcoin go up together or something or that they're pegged in some way i i can see i've heard people say that like uh, ethereum is the silver you know and they both go up and they both go down together mm -mm. nope it's not how it works uh gas prices have absolutely nothing to do with uh gold prices guys um so it's exciting it's exciting times um, all that being said if the pressure if the if the pressure builds um, when the consolidation happens it's basic uh, this is kind of like market 101 kind of stuff for you guys which is good I want you guys to learn this stuff um, and, and get good at it there's great videos online about that but um, essentially what happens is you can kind of see this triangle forming and I'm gonna throw this up on um, on paint for you real quick and just kind of show you guys what I'm talking about. And I'm sorry this is still going, but I just, I'm just, I'm just having a good time tonight. I hope you guys are having a good time too. So what we're looking at here is this is actually five minute, 10, 15 minutes, five minute candles. This is five minute candles, and I'll bring it up here for you so you can see a little better. But here's what's happening: is you've got you've got this happening, right? And this is a good sign. Whenever you can draw a line where you're touching multiple points like that, that is a true technical trend line. That is proof that the market is reacting properly based on traditional marketing or market theory and um, classic supply demand. Does that make sense? Hope that makes sense. So the more that it's touching it, it's literally following a trend line. Now here's, and then the other thing that you typically want to do is you want to take like the most recent high, which was up here, and you want to bring this down. And see, this is the part that it's like, it's a little sketchy right now. It's not real clear. We, we've only touched once or twice, right? But look at this, if, if we bring it down here, we've touched it once, and still, you know, it looks like we've already broken through it. But if if we would have broken through it, and then we, we would be, moving on and up technically according to market market theory here so i'd like to believe that we're still somewhere out here we're still maybe this is it maybe this is the first top and if that's true if that's true that means that as i extend over here and maybe i should you know i thought i was using white i apologize i don't know it's for, i just always use black sorry i hope you can see that i'm not going to try to figure that out right now i'm not a pain expert it's not what I do. <laughs> but what's going to happen is, that technically speaking, is that right here you can see, and this is roughly um, a one hour gap. So right now it's about 9 p.m., about the time you're watching this video, or, or maybe it's already happened. Um, this, this is going to continue to consolidate. And, and general theory is that um, when you have consolidation with a triangle like that, it basically is going to just break out. Okay, I got white for you guys. So let me do this again here. Can you see that? I hope you can see that better. I hope that's better for you guys. Hey, I'm still hey, I'm still getting better at this stuff just like you guys are. But here here is a little trend line just touching that. Look at that. Look see, see how see how it's dancing right there. How we're touching 
We're touching multiples right there. That's beautiful. That is that is really beautiful. And what that's what that's telling us is that essentially that bottom trend trend line is pretty supportive, very supportive. So it's becoming stronger each time it touches it, right? So now general theory would tell us that what's going to happen next is right here it's going to start bouncing and get tighter and tighter and tighter and tighter and at some point it could happen soon it could happen in the next two hours but it's going to break out of this triangle that that pressure is going to build and it's going to explode now the problem is is you can not really ever predict a hundred percent of the time which way it's gonna go however this is um this is something that is uh, like technical analysis like 101 kind of stuff like you would learn this pretty early on if you're trying to learn technical analysis the concept of the triangles um i will say this let me be super clear the more time you have the stronger the support we're talking about one day this is really radical stuff like like even though i'm saying oh that's really strong i i'm saying it's really strong for one day this is nothing this is nothing this is worthless if we're if you're thinking long-term trading and buying this is like day trader kind of thing but um the same concept works even in the long term so essentially you're gonna have this consolidation and we're gonna blow up guys it's going to blow up up or down and i don't know how much but it's gonna go up or down um but that that's uh, that's how it works that's just just something for you guys to, to keep an eye out on sometimes i know sometimes i do these videos and i'm like yeah guys this is gonna break out um and some of you guys get real happy because you made money on stuff and we're in a bullish market so most things are going up um i'd be a little cautious just because uh ethereum just had such a run um that being said we still don't have any like new news uh you know and the next five days is going to be full of new news not sure it's enough to push us through but um hopefully hopefully it is because uh um you know i'm happy with my position on on ether and i'd love to see it go up you know i'd also love to see it go down so just so i can buy more but let's be real um right now it's still a deal it's still a deal so anyhow guys all right that was a long video i hope it was a good video i hope that satisfies your craving for the do um so hopefully that'll keep you guys busy i'm going to start uh, getting to work on the next few videos uh, again i'll be looking at consensus 2017 agenda um, looking for what possibly could be said or you know um, any connections between um, the the speakers and the, and the reveals and the actual coins because you know you know all it takes is one powerpoint to uh, double up a coin you guys you, you see it all the time so um, we just want to be aware I don't know if that will happen at all I'll be honest like let's be realistic about it maybe nothing happens maybe and maybe it's a letdown but um, I'm gonna be looking at it uh, and trying to you know, trying to educate myself and get better at this so uh, be on the lookout for more information about what's going on make sure you guys go watch the ethereal summit information and I hope you guys are really enjoying these videos. I hope you learned something. I kind of did a mirage of things this this video. I really hope that you guys will let me know like what you like, what you don't like, uh, what you want more of, right? I want this channel's for you guys, um, you know, because I don't want to have a conversation with myself. I don't. I'm not interested in talking to myself at all. Um, so by researching and bringing you guys content on stuff that you're actually interested in i actually get to have a conversation with you and that's the whole point uh the whole point of this the whole reason i did this channel so um oh look at that is it breaking oh man yeah it just broke out of that triangle while, while i was doing that in the last 10 minutes so it looks like uh let's see if it'll bounce back it may not survive yeah, this ball's gone. So just a little pullback. 
you know, just breaking out. You know, soon, uh, soon we'll be able to draw some new triangles. Um, we can probably back it out and make some new ones as well. We were trending a little too high, so maybe just a minor setback. But that's good. Again, we want to shake them out. We're going to shake them out if we're going to get through that 130, guys. Anyhow, um, who knows? Well, maybe we'll wake up tomorrow back to 80. That'd be awesome because I'd buy a whole lot more, wouldn't you? So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this content. Please subscribe if you want to hear more. Uh, give me a like. Follow me on Steemit. Upvote me on Steemit. I literally, it's like donating to me when you do that without you literally taking money out of your pocket. I am asking for your time, and I do value your time very much. Um, and uh, that's what's cool about that platform. That's what it does is uh, it rewards people for um, people's time and attention and things like that. Um, so I hope you guys will check that out. And, um, oh, I, oh, man. Guys, I forgot. I appreciate the donations. Blowing my mind. Um, I also um, did a live stream, and um, man, I didn't think anyone would even show up. And then it was like, boom, hello. <laughs> How's it going? So, uh, man, I'm grateful. I'm grateful that I'm getting to know some people out there, and um, we're having conversations about this stuff and uh, trying to understand it more deeply so that we can then go share it with others and have a deep intellectual conversation about real world applications being solved about how we're going to change the world and that's what this channel is about if you are passionate about it make sure you subscribe because you're going to get a lot of passion here guys so anyhow i'm going to let you go i had so much fun doing this video i got off on a tangent I, I'm, I'm sorry about that but i hope you guys uh, are willing to put up with me so I'll let you go now and it's that time again guys my favorite part <laughs> I'm king of do may the force be with you